Hello there, this is Lori at Lori R Creations. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree DIY for this farmhouse arrows wall decoration. So for this project, the things you need to have on hand are one of the Dollar Tree metal welcome signs, two Dollar Tree 36 inch skewers, some wire and twine. Both of these I got at the Dollar Tree. You'll also need some paint. I used a territorial beige acrylic paint for the distressing look and the black chalk paint for the overall paint color. Also have on hand a hot glue gun, scissors, garden shears, paint brushes, and a pair of pliers. First step is to measure and cut three equal length sections of skewer. Mine measured 16 inches long each. Then remove the chain from the flower with pliers and then remove the center metal piece of the flower. Now separate the flower layers and mark your cut lines on three of the larger petals for the arrow tips with a Sharpie. Um, avoid the ones with the holes in them. I used my Dollar Tree garden shears to trim away the three petals for the arrowheads and then I went back with my shears and trimmed the um, points to make nice arrow tips. You're also then going to cut three more petals for the base of your arrow bottom and make your diagonal cuts in the arrow bottom in the wider end as you see pictured here. Using the smaller flower part, I cut three petals. These are going to go on top of your arrow bottom. So then I used hot glue to attach the arrowheads uh, to one end of each skewer with the color side down. That helps to give a nice groove for you to lay your skewer in. Then attach the wider bottom piece of the arrow and then the smaller piece on top of that piece as you see here. So here's what you should have at this point. The first picture is the back of the arrow and the second picture is the front. Then using your black chalk paint, cover each arrow entirely with the paint. I arranged my arrows, stacking them on top of each other and hot glued them as I went. This was to help hold the arrow in place while I wrapped the wire around it. Once I got the wire wrapped, I added a little more glue in the crevices around the wire to help give some stability to each of the arrows. Uh, using the territorial beige paint color, I dabbed my brush in the paint, then dabbed it a little bit on a paper towel and dry brushed along the edges of my arrows and on the skewer a bit to get that uh, worn and distressed look. Then I took a piece of twine and knotted it and hot glued it on the back of the top arrow head that I used for a hanger. Then I took some hot glue and some twine and wrapped uh, the base of each arrowhead with a few uh, rounds of the twine. I secured it with some more glue. I also did just above the arrow bases as well. And that's it, I was finished. You guys, this was such an easy and inexpensive project. I hope you're inspired to create one of these for yourself. Thank you so much again for watching. I'm Laurie at Laurie R Creations. Have a great day.